Boom, what's going on you guys? Welcome back. I'm hanging here with my man, Omega Foam. And uh, we're about to show you guys some stuff. This is all about how to work around vehicle. A lot of times, now this is cold and this may hurt, right. but oftentimes in these types of attacks at least, there's a level of volunteerism by the victim. <laughs> That's awesome. By this understanding that I'm not just throwing this off to the side, but I'm going to bring this out and away from me. So now I'm totally clear and I can get into situations where I can dynamically access something if that is the choice that I make. Give me your fucking keys, give me whoa, your whoa, keys. Whoa. Absolutely, no give problem. Give me your keys right no now. No problem. What do you need, man? Give me the fucking keys. <laughs> and out of roll. Ooh, you okay? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Come over here, please. So we didn't role play this. He had no idea what I was gonna do. You have experience, and he's not exactly the smallest person in the world, right? The guy's massive, he's competent, and he trains. Have you ever seen that technique done before? No. I don't have the ability to kind of spring forward and generate a lot of power, so all I'm doing is taking this weapon and I'm redirecting it dynamically. Remember, while that weapon is being moved out of my face and offline, he has to process, There's a, he's not just gonna start pressing the trigger, right? Probably. Give me your fucking whoa, whoa. Yeah. Give me your keys. All right, right dude, now. I don't give want any problems. Fucking, give okay. me your fucking right. Give them to you right now. Yeah. Give me your keys. Give me your keys. While walking to the car, instead of holding the key fob or holding the keys, I'm literally just gonna take my two fingers and put it through that finger hole and just walk to my vehicle that way. So if God forbid something were to kick off, I simply have to take the keys off of one hand, the sheath stays affixed to it, and I'm now equipped and armed yeah. with something that I could use if I absolutely need it, given the totality of circumstances and the level of threat presented to me. Sports bra, you can affix it, obviously, regular carry and blouse it to where everything is covered. Even if I'm in a, in a suit and tie, I can take this and have it purchased and bite into the inside of my pocket. So when I draw it, the sheath stays affixed to the pocket and the only thing that comes out is the blade. And this is a very common and very useful method of carry is literally just affixing it to your keychain so it's always with you and as we're walking to our vehicle we can then have this affixed here and there's no issues and if i have to if i have to transition and this is a little bit higher end but if i have to transition to my firearm training gun right if i have to transition to my firearm my trigger finger still can work independently the it does not interrupt my grip substantially the angle is such that it will not interrupt the cycle of operation on the firearm. I can conduct reloads, all of that. So there's a lot of thought that went behind the actual design and, and the implement of, of, of the tool. Boom, if you enjoyed that video, I wanna invite you to the Civilian Protector Project. Online training, live meetings online and in person, in-person training, it's for everybody. I look forward to welcoming you to our community. ProtectorNation.com, let's go.